Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. It is my weekly weekend vlog. Hope you're having a good one. It is currently Saturday, the Saturday of Labor Day weekend. And do you see how dark it is? I mean, granted, it's not the morning. Also, I'm not wearing my Apple watch. Surprise. I said in September, I don't want to wear my watch as much. I walked this morning. Mike and I walked for an hour. I worked out for 40 minutes. By like 11, I had all my steps and I had my exercise ring closed. And I said, she's done. She's done. I took her off. She's right here. And instead, I actually wanted to show you this. My aunt bought me this really, really pretty necklace. It came with like the most beautiful card. It is the sweetest thing, but it is water droplets. I don't know if you can see. I'll show you what it looks like as a necklace because it's actually meant to be a necklace, but I really like it as a bracelet because it wraps around enough and it fits me perfectly without anything hanging. It's so cute. Just hung out today. I, like I said, we went for a walk. I worked out. Then we went to Home Goods. The selection at Home Goods, the Halloween selection. <coughs> terrible. Went to Lowe's to get like manly house things, paint and whatnot. Nothing exciting. And then we went to Wegmans and Mike bought mussels. So we're gonna have mussels for dinner. And I'm craving a little bit of Napa Valley red wine. <laughs> These jeans. Oh, do you want to say hi? Say hello. These jeans were a hand-me-down for my sister. I love them. And this is my fat cat. Say hello. Say hello, my babe. Oh, I love him so much, but he doesn't love me. And he's been being really fresh today. Look at this facina. Oh, those eyes, they kill me. He hasn't been very nice to me today. He was playing with me very aggressively this morning, but then he doesn't like it when I get aggressive back because then he gets all like upset and he meows. Like, mom, please, I, I'm the only one that's allowed to be mean. You have to be nice to me. My brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, they got two kittens. Oh my God, I met them yesterday. They were the cutest things. I'll pop pictures of them here on the screen. Their names are Louie and Oliver, and I die when I tell you they are the sweetest things. I'm in my closet. I got rid of so much stuff. I'm doing a declutter video. I'm not sure if it will have gone up by now because Cindy Cummings actually in her workout today said it beautifully. She was like, you know, you think you need to like carve out a big chunk of time in order to do things, but maybe just do things in a more leisurely way so that you can get things done and it's like less pressure. So I actually used that mantra in my decluttering and I've just been decluttering every time. I have like 10, 15, 20 minutes. This morning, I got rid of a bunch of shoes. I'm selling a bunch of them on Poshmark. I will link my Poshmark down below. If you're interested, you can check it out. I'm trying to get my life together. And honestly, I'm kind of using that back to school momentum, even though that has nothing to do with me. Sadly, I don't, I'm not in school. I'm a full-time employee and I did not get a summer break, but I'm using the summertime back to school mentality to like get my life together, you know, so that I'm ready for September, the fall. We came home and I literally vacuumed the whole house while, well, not the whole house, but the first floor while Mike cooked dinner. But let's go see what Mike's doing. Oh, I was right. I couldn't remember the name of this winery. It is Gargiulo. What was the one, oh, Gear, Gearlick? What was the one that we didn't like that we went to? Gerd? Gergic? 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 I don't know. That one was terrible. That's poor on the right. It's a lot bigger than the one. Okay. Well, then we must even it out. That's even. I'm going to be sad when we run out of this wine. It's so good. You can just order it. We can order this? I think so. Where's the exclusivity in that? Your balls look good. Your balls, balls look, good. look good. Yeah. Are you impressed with yourself? Because I'm impressed. No. You're not? Why? No, I'm... Well, we need you to get your meatballs in this video. Those are some nice balls, boy. Cheers. Thanks, babe. It looks really good. very let down by home goods today. Mm. I feel like everything was like blah or like pink. It's a Barbie Halloween. I don't like that. Spooky cat. It's 
We can count them on the streets. It's Labor Day weekend and we've complained about everybody talking about fall and here we are. Well guess what? We've been succumbed to being inside all day, so I don't know what else to tell everyone. If Labor Day was Labor Daying, we'd be Labor Daying. I agree. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. I need the title. Did we see the title? A while ago. Oh. Alright, well we could just bring it back. We could edit it. We could edit it out. After last night's dinner, it was such a lovely dinner. I had such a nice time. I love when Mike and I sit in the kitchen, like at the actual table and not the island because normally we eat dinner at the island. It's just easier. The mussels, I got one really fishy one and I don't know, but I have just not been great all day. I think it just didn't sit well with me. I don't know though because Mike's fine, but it didn't sit well with me. A little ill all day, having trouble waking up. It's just been, it's been so dark. The sun came out before and it was the weirdest thing. Like Mike and I were like, we all of a sudden felt awake. It's just been such a dreary weekend. I wanna put my hair back. I wanna do some makeup. You know, I was thinking like, oh, let me play with new things. Not new things, like stuff in my stash that I normally don't use. But to be honest, I'm wearing blue again. And I feel like I always go for like the baby pink kind of tones. Cause I feel like it really plays up the blue very well. I feel a little scatterbrained. I feel a little all over the place. I feel like I am struggling struggling to get it together today it's, it's like it's sunday and granted we have tomorrow off because it's labor day but it just feels like a very sunday sunday i don't know where i put my cute clips so i'm just gonna use these ugly clips i want to in this video i don't know if we're gonna do it today maybe we'll do it tomorrow i have my work makeup now i have not gone to the office in a couple weeks at this point i want to like curate a new everyday makeup for the fall with makeup that I already have. So I thought maybe we could do that together. You've seen the makeup in this like a bazillion times. I don't know, I was gonna do foundation, but like Mike and I have no idea what we're doing tonight. We might not even go out. So I kind of want to do like a light little just bit of makeup. Like this is the makeup I do when I don't want to spend a lot of time, but I just want to feel better. I've been journaling a bit, not a lot, not enough to brag. I've just been kind of thinking about what my perfect life would look like. And I've been asking myself, well, why can't my life just look like that? Because technically it could. I would like to be someone that wakes up, that works out early and then gets ready for the day. Ever since I was little, I always like envision myself being like a boss bitch. And I still envision myself and like my perfect life being like that for some reason. Now granted, I'm also that person where I think of my perfect life and I'm living on a beach somewhere where it's very quiet and there are no people around except for me, my husband, my cat, and my dog. And I also want to be a little like farm lady. So I have an array of different lives that I would like to live for my multi-personalities. The hustler, New Jersey, tri-state kind of girl in me has always wanted to be a boss babe that maybe doesn't necessarily work in fashion, but looks like she could work in fashion because she just plays the role so beautifully. So while I'm getting ready and it's four o'clock and I wish it was a little earlier, like in my dream life, I would wake up early, I would work out, I would get dressed and I would be looking like a fabulous housewife all day long. It's been nice working from home because most of the days I've been waking up early, working out, getting ready, and kind of like just dressing up for the day. And I find that greeting the majority of my day with a little bit of makeup on and like a cute dress is really, really good for my mental health. It's so weird. I journal about like my dream life and a part of me is like, well, why can't you have that dream life now? And there is absolutely no reason why I can't have that dream life now. I'm just trying to kind of like romanticize my life. I am really happy in my life. Very fortunate to have found Mike. Like Mike is my best friend and I love spending every minute with him. And I love that him and I, you know, I feel like we never get sick of each other. I mean, knock on wood, we always feel that way, but like I am very blessed. I just really struggle with comparing myself to others sometimes, which I haven't been going on social media a lot lately at all, which has been really, really good for my mental health. The only social media I go on is YouTube because I like to watch YouTube videos like when I'm on the treadmill, when I'm walking. But otherwise, like I really don't like Instagram at all. Everyone's on their little Euro trips and like I would love to be on a vacation and it all just looks so fabulous, so wonderful. 
and I have FOMO. Like I wanna be doing those things. In August, I did a really good job of not being on social media too much and it was really, really good for me. I feel like mentally I'm in a better spot. Also granted, I think like working from home also helps with my mental health. Just like honestly, the commute, the commute of commuting. Oh, the effort that it takes to commute is exhausting. I think it really takes a toll on my exhaustion, which plays a part in your mental health. I don't know, just I have like all these thoughts on my brain. I would love to be a boss bitch, but I don't know like what it is I really wanna do with my life. Like I just, I don't know what, like if I could be anything in the world, I would love to really be like a jewelry designer, pick a more creative sector of life, which I think is also why I enjoy creating these videos. Or like I would love to work for a magazine. That would be cool. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like ways that I can express myself in other ways. I'm just like thinking about hobbies that I want. Like I really, really, really want to learn Italian and there is no reason why I can't learn Italian except for the fact that I just keep getting in my way. Like I'm just lazy some days and it's like I could be sitting on the couch. Like I, I made a list of things that I would like to spend less time doing and things that I would like to spend more time doing. I decided to leave my cell phone in the bedroom when I woke up instead of scrolling, which is something that I wrote that I wanted to do less of. I picked up my Kindle and instead I read three chapters of my book. So I felt really good about that. So just kind of like making mindful decisions. Also remembering that again, I don't, did I mention in this video that this was like something that Sydney Cummings had touched upon at the end of one of her videos? She is such a great motivational speaker and she really makes me think about so much more than just like physical fitness overall just like mental health in general just making me think bigger picture she said something i put it on my phone i don't oh my phone's right here i'm back in my google drives which is also really really nice i feel like i really love being an organized queen i've been really rejecting that organized queen for a bit in my mind for some reason i told myself that it kind of like plays up my anxiety but i honestly think that being organized lessens my anxiety so i'm trying to just like embrace who i am and the things that i enjoy without labeling them, which has been something else that I've just had on my mind lately. She said to audit your time. So that's what I did. I journaled, what do I want to make more time for? And then what do I want to make less time for? Spend a bit more time here and there doing things that are productive and make you feel better. Organize things in a low impact way. And I wrote, don't be all or nothing. When I have the spare time, I have like 20 minutes instead of like scrolling on my phone, I can just read a chapter of my book. Just like trying to make better decisions without making myself feel like it's such a sacrifice to do it. So I really want to do that with learning a language. My brain doesn't work that way. I'm not I don't know what I am, but I also, again, I need to work on not labeling myself. I feel like I kind of put myself in a box a lot of the time and it's really frustrating because I am the only one that's holding myself back. So I don't know, I just need to like work on myself a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and I will see you after because I just feel like I need a little concentration. Maybe this, I haven't worn this in a minute. It's kind of pretty. With muted mauve, the lip liner I keep gravitating towards. It's just the perfect color. Do I want to go like full on beigey? No, I don't think so. You could do a light layer of this. I don't know why. I bought this in hopes that this would be a perfect like peachy nude for me because I love a peachy nude and I feel like it's almost like too nude. I think, I think I'm leaning a bit towards like peachy pinks, which I know you might be saying like, what is the difference? Um, I, there is though. Yeah, this is pretty. This is Nude Venus by Pat McGrath. You get like no product in here. And I say this every time I use it because it infuriates me, but it's so pretty. This is NARS in Breathless. I think I need a new color. I also need to get my hair done, which is something that I always dread. Let me put my jewelry on and then maybe we should curate the makeup since I'm sitting here and I have the time. And tomorrow I feel like it's Monday. It's the day before I go back to work. So I might be a little schmoky. I put these earrings in. Now I really, really like these. I think my mom gave them to me. I just, I just don't know if they're like my vibe. This is more my speed while acknowledging that this is way less fun. What do we think? These? I just feel like I should do these now. But these are more my vibe, like more demure. And I'm saying that and I hate that because I'm really sick of hearing everyone say it. I feel like these are so much more fun again, but this is like way more my vibe, like subtle. Let's put the outfit together and see. I figured I'd pair this with my Fendi bag. I feel like it's only appropriate to pair with this since this has been 
literally my bag of the summer. And then I have this little cardigan from Banana, just because I feel like, you know, it's a little chill. It's like humid and it's hot, but at night it gets chilly. These pearly shoes, I did not wear them at all this summer. My aunt bought them for me at Target last year, and I love them. I just like really didn't wear them. Dude, very crookad. Crookad. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. The shoes. The bag. The sweater. And I just feel like the earrings are pulled in by the pearls on the shoes. I think this fall winter, I want to start like making my own jewelry. I don't know. It's just been like, like I got into this. Oh, hold on. I can't get this in. Hold please. Like I was thinking I wanted to crochet because I keep getting these super cute ads crocheting like little creatures and I love it. I just, I think I need something to do like mindlessly, but also like to calm my nervous system. So I was thinking about knitting, but honestly, I think I should start making jewelry. You know, obviously if I do that, I will take you along on the journey, but I don't, I'm just thinking like, could I make earrings like this? I probably could. I mean, it would be hard, but I'm, I'm sure with determination and consistency, I could do that. I don't know. I am hoi all over the place but you should all you should all very much know this by now i thought i'd just show you some of the stuff that we got at home goods yesterday because we, we didn't get any again you're so crook god you bought a big candle i don't mind the smell of this one but it's masculine aromas collection it's called man cave it smells like my husband. Like literally it smells like Michael. So this was our candle. I don't know if we got any other candles. The home goods selection of Halloween decor was absolute crap. And you know what? It's my fault because we waited until Labor Day weekend to go Halloween shopping. But that's just so crazy that I even have to say that. Like we waited until Labor Day weekend to go shopping. Appropriate time would be like September to go Halloween shopping, but I guess that's just not like society's norm anymore. Everything was like picked over. It was either like very basic Halloween things that weren't like nostalgic basic, just like very boring basic. Now I'm sweating again. I'm having trouble regulating my temperature. Very basic, boring, not very nostalgic Halloween things, just like black and glittery. And I don't like, I don't like glitter with my Halloween for the most part, okay? We will make exceptions here and there, but for the most part, I don't like glitter in my Halloween. Or it was like pink, and I love pink. Pink and blue are like my favorite colors, but I'm not here for a pink Halloween. I'm just not here for it. So needless to say, we pretty much got two things, which was a little upsetting, but this is like Halloween chic. I'm not about Halloween chic, but they have this or a ghost one. This is clearly a skull one. Look at this. It's like a cheese board. So I've just been asking Mike again and again and again, can we please have a Halloween party? Now granted, I understand him and I do not disagree with him. We just like don't have the space to really have a Halloween party, but I love a Halloween party. I had a Halloween party one time at my apartment when Mike and I were dating. It was such a good time and I would have used the shit out of this for a cheese platter. So you know Mike and I, we love our wine, we love our cheese, so... And this will just like add to the Halloween decor for a Halloween cheese plate. It is very cute, like very intricate. It's made in India and it's very cool. It was between this and a ghost one and this one was just, I just, the details of this is stunning. The ghost one was like very basic. So we went with that. This is the last thing that we got. We got cat towels. I don't know. It came in a three pack. So this one is obviously the cutest one with all the little black cats. This is just like a good, all season, black and white. We have a black and white rug that lives over there. This could also be an everyday one. It just has little kitty cat faces in it. Rogan, can you stop eating the dog food? I just, he is unsatiable lately. Is that how you say that word? I don't know. He keeps eating the dog food, which I don't like. Autumn night. Ooh, I like that. Not a lot of Halloween things, right? I was upset about the Halloween things. How do you feel? You're upset that you can't have a never ending supply of food, which is why you keep eating dog foods. But look at you in the sun. You're so soft. How'd you get so soft? Oh my God, yesterday I vacuumed the whole house. There's so much dog hair, so much cat hair. I'm really glad that I did that, but whoa. I feel like we don't have enough Halloween decorations, but I think a part of that is the simple fact that I use Halloween things every day. For instance, in the sink, we all know. My mugs, my Halloween mugs, I used this this morning. 
she's finally gonna be back in season. Also this mug that Amanda, my sister-in-law bought me. I use this all the time. Halloween decor that just lives in our real life. I showed you this in my last vlog. How freaking cute is that? This pink Halloween is acceptable because it is a mug. Um, how cute, but I don't want like pink Halloween decorations in my house. I feel like that's too like cutesy. I don't like scary, but I want like Halloween feelings. This mug too that my husband bought me, Nightmare Before Coffee. But again, these are things that I use all year round. Oh, you guys know my other mug, my Nightmare Before Christmas mug that my aunt bought me. It is like the best mug for tea. And I love Jack Skellington, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I have amazing people in my life who know how much I love Halloween and it makes me happy that I am like the unofficial Halloween queen. Look how freaking adorable he is. My aunt got him for me. Look at how cute these are. These are like nail stickers. I've never used nail stickers ever, but they're Halloween themed. So they have cobwebs, they have bats, they have moons, stars, they have evil eyes. We all know how I feel about an evil eye. Dracula lips, like vampire lips, cats. Okay, ghosts, look at them. Oh my God, cobwebs, stars, there's bats, there's pumpkins. I wish they were jack-o'-lanterns though. They're just like regular pumpkins. I'm very excited for fall, although I'm very sad. It's Labor Day weekend. It's just, I feel like I'm not really mourning the summer because it doesn't feel like a summer weekend. So, anywho, let's go, let's go curate my everyday makeup bag. Why don't we go do that? I need to stop talking about Halloween and give us all a break. Give us all a break from this. This is my makeup bag. This is what I bring to and from work every day. Well, not really. I leave this on my vanity so that if I don't have time in the morning, I can just pick it up and take it with me. Or if I have time in the morning, it's all in one central location. So I don't need to like fuss too much about it. Merit Perfecting Sticks, which I think I'm gonna leave in here because I just, I wanna be done with them. So I think I'm gonna keep those as my base. I have my two in one brow gel, which this is almost out. So let's finish this off. That's the problem. A lot of these products are like almost done. Merit and Beverly Hills. And then this one is terracotta that I use as a bronzer. So maybe I'll keep like the base. Here's my brush. I use this for my cream bronzer, cream blush, two merit things that I just showed you. I think I'm gonna swap out my Urban Decay for the one that I just used today. They're comparable to one another. I'm just kind of sick of this. So I think I'm gonna swap this out. So I'll put this back in my vanity and I'll put this in my makeup bag. Don't need another blush. So let me just focus all of my efforts on this one. So I'm gonna put my MAC Glow, Pit, Glow Play back in my vanity. Ugh, Gucci mascara, I need to throw this out. It is really old. Maybe it's not, it actually smells fine. So I'll try this and if it flakes on me or irritates my eyes, I'll throw it out like I threw out my Lancome Lashy Doll. I have a lip liner. I wanna swap this out. This is Koki and Dusty Rose. We'll pick another one to mix it up. I have my Fix Plus, which I wanna finish. So I'll leave that. Eyeliners, which let me just pick one. Pillow Talk I'm gonna leave here by Charlotte Tilbury. And I guess I'll focus on Easy on the Eyes by Tarte, which is like this really pretty like brownish kind of coppery, sparkly shade that could look pretty like all over the lid, kind of like I did today, except I use Laura Mercier in Coco on my lids. I just put this crayon all over and then spread it out with my finger. Brow pencil, is this almost done? Oh, I think I just opened this. All right, I'll leave this one in here. This is by Joa, this is the Precision Brow Pencil. I'll leave that in here. We have nothing, let's start from the beginning. Merit sticks. I'll do the same base, Grande Brow, Joa, same base, same brows. Those are my brushes. I'm gonna do this as my powder. Mm, I need a highlighter brush. What about this? What about this? Uh oh, that's not bad. Maybe we could do this. Okay, I'll do this. Lip liner. Let's see, maybe I'll keep this one just so I can be done with it wherever walnut by makeup forever. I also wanna do like a brown one. Maybe I'll do strip down just cause I haven't done this one in a minute. I forgot all about these. I didn't use these at all this summer. The Sephora ones. Mm, that's pretty. Damn it. I can never see what the hell these say. I don't know, I'll put the color down below because it never says the color. Also this one in the peachy shade. That's pretty too. All right, I'll take the two Sephora. This is the problem. I'm like, oh wow, there's not a lot of makeup. And then I throw 17 lipsticks in here. Also this one I wanna use. It's called Posey by Lawless. It like does a really nice like plumping. How many lip products is she wearing? It's a game we could play on any given day. All right, I feel good about that. 
that's good. I gotta clean these. All right, I had this one in here, Ciate London. I just think I'm too tan for this. <laughs> So I'm gonna swap it for this one by Charlotte Tilbury. That is it, voila. I'm excited for this. I'm so excited to finish off all of my Merit products because I want new and I want fresh and I'm tired of using them. No offense, they're great everyday products, but I wanna try different things. On a scale of one to 10, how happy are you to be back? Here, right now? Yeah. A three. A three? <laughs> I'm like scale, I'm off the Richter scale. I'm like a 25. That's awesome. I like your crabby neck and holder. Thank you. I'm kind of sad you got it the last weekend though. It's not the last weekend. It is the last weekend. It's not. It's it be. is. Every year you said it's, hot through it's not the last weekend and every year it is the last it weekend. Tried. Yeah, I brought them from the house. Oh. oh, I changed my earrings. Did you notice? I didn't. I just felt like the other ones weren't very me. Whose so, earrings were they? I went with these. They were my mom's. She gave them to me. But they were like heavy. And then, I don't know. I just feel like these are more, they go more with the vibe. And I changed my shoes. Although I don't think you noticed that either. Let's try her out, Daddy. Do you think there's any seats? Uh, it's a no. It's a no? Oh, they look like a table. Though. Joy. <laughs> All right, let's try it anyway. Thank you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Walking with Zigzagger here. Who's going to clean his pants? It might happen. It might happen. Oh, what a walk. Our last walk of summer. Of, of summer. summer. Summer goes until September. Okay, 20. of like the, what's that word? Unofficial summer. Unofficial summer. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you. Look how pretty it is. Rough seas out there today. Look at the water. Can you hear it? Wild. It's a little moo day. I look terrible. I just got out of the shower. I'm sweating. I did day one of Sydney Cummings strong workout. I think the last time I saw you, Mike and I went for a walk this morning while we were still down the shore. Surprise. We're back up north, if you ask me. Although it is Monday when I'm filming because it's, you know, Labor Day and I'm off. I have the Sunday scaries to a whole other level and I'm just trying to like get myself together. I'm trying to just like calm myself down. I don't know what to do. I'm not used to waking up and going to work. I've been working from home for like two weeks and it's been so nice. And now I'm just like in my own little happiness routine of working from home. I've just been in my little fantasy world of being a fake housewife. Still working a lot, but you know, not leaving the house and it's been so, so nice. But I thought we'd have a woosah moment together. I thought we could do my UFO too, which I have not done in a minute. Finally found my charger, charged this bad boy up. Call it a night, revitalizing and nourishing. I think I need some nourishing for my soul. So let's do this. I honestly haven't done this in so long that I kind of forgot how to do this. But the beauty of it is that it has an app. Let's see if I can remember to even put this on. I'm gonna hit start on my app. I don't know if you're interested, but just in case you are. I went to UFO mask treatments and then it shows you the different masks. So the mask I'm doing today is call it a night. So before I hit start, you just pop this little bad boy off. Just this guy. You open this, lay the mask, which is a sheet mask, into this, like that, lock it in. I just push that ring back in. So, all right, let's give this a go. I haven't done this in months. I'm gonna hit start. And she tells me what to do, which is so nice. I love being told what to do. I don't like questions. I like very straightforward things. I love that she tells me to take a deep breath and relax. Like she's like, yo, I know you're crazy. I feel so good. I feel so warm. T sonic pulsations blend with red LED light to boost blood circulation and restore skin elasticity for a more luminous appearance. Thank you. I love that she just like does my job and tells you all the things that we all need to know. 
so I don't have to because honestly, I don't even know. I don't know enough about LED lights. That's a minute and a half, okay? So I'm gonna do it again. I like to do it at least two, three, maybe four times, at least when I used to do it. You know, I haven't done this in a bit, but there's still some serum in here. So I just pour serum onto the mask because I just feel like this is such a waste. Rub it in, repeat. Vitalize your skin, leaving it softer. Smoother and more supple. I'm gonna do it again because why not? And classic, I have a broken hair stuck. That's disgusting, but I love him so much that it's okay. And you can also mute her so you don't have to listen to her, which is what I just did. Oh, and this feels so good. Let me tell you, when you have a period headache, whoa. This is like game changing. Poor Mike. I'm going back to work and I'm PMSing. It's gonna be a rough week in the D'Angelo household for sure. That was fun. Let me further relax. Let me get my work bag out. <laughs> it's the worst time of any week is when this stupid to me backpack comes out. I'm so tired of feeling like this dread. Like I really, I don't want to dread going to work. I just don't, I don't know what's happening with me. I'm just, I feel like my skin is crawling and I feel trapped. I feel trapped like a rat. I just, I don't know. But let me throw this out, let me clean this, and then we'll get on with facing the music. Oh. Well, it's been a bit, my friend. It's been a bit. I can't find my damn AirPods. I'm so upset about it. Oh my God. I can't find them and they're literally in the thing they're always in. Hello. What are we doing? I'm sweating. And I'm having a meltdown. You're sweating and having a meltdown? I am. I'm sweating and I'm having a meltdown. Why? I'm freezing. You're freezing? I'm so hot. And I'm not having a meltdown. I'm having a meltdown. Here oh my god, are. I'm very white next to you. Hey, whitey. What's your meltdown? I have the Sunday scaries and it's not even Sunday. It's a deep breath. 